Hello! If you've used Element Inspection before, you know that when you get an inspection report, you get a map of the house, a drawing of the house with all the foundation measurements on it. A lot of people ask us how we get those. Is it free? Does it come with the inspection? Number one, yes, it comes with every single inspection. Number two, this video is going to explain exactly how we do that, how my inspectors go about it using the zip level, same tool that engineers use. The video is long. It's 10, 10, 11, 12 minutes, I think, that I've edited so far. It'll be in that time frame. If you can make it through the whole thing, you're going to get a lot of valuable information. I send this video out to agents and some homeowners alike. All of you that are receiving it via email are going to be in the Dallas-Fort Worth area or around there, so North Texas, where we have massive amounts of soil movement. And this video will explain how we go about making sure that even if the foundation is a little bit off, if it's performing correctly, if it's not, and then how you can access the data that we collect for you. So watch. Uh, I know it's rather boring content, but it is informational. And uh, if you can make it through the end, great. Thanks. Hello, I'm here with Emiliano. And when we do inspections, we put the foundation elevations in every single inspection report that we do. And today we're going to show how that information is acquired. This is a zip level. If you've ever been to one of my uh, presentations, you'll know I joke about the fact that a marble costs 50 cents and that costs a thousand dollars. It's the same tool that an engineer uses. Some guys will carry around a marble, drop it on the ground, let it roll around, and they say the foundation needs work. We actually use the same tool an engineer uses, but we're not engineers. So we're going to walk through the whole process start to finish today, and then I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like on the report as well. All right, so Emiliano has his graph paper ruler in. Describe what you're going to do. You're going to draw the house, right? Yeah, that's what I start with. I sort of like draw the house as best as I can. Okay. And then we're going to take this, put it in the center of the house, right? Right. So at this house, like the center will be like behind this wall. So we're just going to make it this little corner right here. Okay. So here's my sort of what my house looks like. All right. This will be the front of the house right here. And then I always draw out the garage. Right. You know, the garage is a separate foundation from the house and we still do the levels because uh, garages are supposed to slope down for uh, drainage of car, rainwater, the water heaters in the garage, stuff like that. It's supposed to drain out of the house. Right. Yep. So if the garage is flat or has a slope towards the house, then we report that as negative slope. Got it. Okay, let's start the process. All right. And there's about 60, 70 feet in here. So there's always enough cord to get this done. I'm just going to zero out right here. And on our graph, this will put it as center. So right here, we'll put a zero and that's the center of the house. And what we're going to do is walk the perimeter of the house with the remote. And that'll tell us which house, which way the house is settling and if there's any foundation issues, specifically if there's cracks outside the house or inside the house. This will give us more of an idea what, how much the house has settled. All right. So from the front door to here, we have about a half an inch drop. 0.6 of an inch drop. Which is fine. We don't want to see, I have told us 20, one inch drop in 20 feet. Right. And again, sometimes you'll have one inch drop in 20 feet or more, but there's absolutely no cracks inside or outside the house. And that tells you that maybe this foundation work done already or the house settled and it's fine because there's no cracking. So right here we have minus 0.6. And what I'll do from here, I'll walk about, it's supposed to be about 10 feet that way. I do it about six to eight feet, you know, just to get closer numbers to where I'm at in the center and the first number that I wrote down. Got it. Okay. So from here, I'll go like right here, for example, which that's about almost 10 feet. And right here, we're now dropping one inch from there and about five inches from here. Okay. Five inches or 0. 0.5? 0. 0.5. Sorry. <laughs> that would be a lot. <laughs> And then I go to the corner halfway, go around the couch, excuse me. There are times that we have obstructions like beds, dressers, clothes, or a so kennel. Or a kennel. 
So we're trying to get as close to the edge as possible. Okay. And the difference from this point here to the center of the house, which is a little over 20 feet, what are we at there? Uh, right here, we are minus 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Right. So. Negative. So the house drops 7 tenths of an inch from the center to there. It is typical for a house to drop. From the inside, meaning the center of the house, to the exterior walls, it's typical for it to drop. Yes. Right. A very common question we get asked is, this floor is obviously a different height than this. So wouldn't that screw up your foundation measurement? Yeah, we just got to do math. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can see that this floor is basically about half inch to three quarter inch lower than the laundry room floor. So Right. Now, you'll take a measurement there and mm -hmm. there to see the difference. Right. So they're so close to each other, the foundation wouldn't affect it. But if you take a measurement there and there, then you'll know the difference between the two and you can subtract out of the math. Right. Or uh, subtract out of it. So So right here I'm getting minus one point one. So if I add where the zip level base is at, which is basically half inch higher than here, we add minus point six. Okay. Pretty much. And then sometimes you walk into a room when you have rug. Carpet, now, yep. Now this floor is higher here. Typically the rug is higher than the floor. This is the so, other way around. Yeah, basically it will be the same thing. Just do some math. And you'll take your measurement between here the, yeah, and here and there. And that'll give you the difference between the two and you'll yeah. subtract that out of the measurement. For the garage, once we've done the foundational measurements in the house, we'll come in the garage and we'll put this thing at zero because we want to see the slope towards the outside. Right, because the garage is supposed to slope towards, right. towards the back of the garage so that if anything drips off of a car or if there's a... a because the water heater is right behind Emiliano in that closet. If that were to burst, you, in theory, would want the water to roll out of the garage. Right. So, Also, whatever water you bring Any in water the that comes in on the car should drain out, or fluids on the car. Perhaps it's leaking a, some sort of fluid from the engine. It'll drop out. So, Right there, we're at zero. Okay. And then we'll come over here. And this one has a minus 0 0.7 slope. 0.7. So you have so, almost an inch drop from there. If we go that way, it might be a little lower too. Oops. This side of the garage. So the garage is designed to drain like that, that way. Okay. Because so right okay. here we have a less of a drain drop than over there. Yep. On some new builds, they do it that you have an almost two inch drop. On some new builds, you have that you have an almost two inch drop. And we just want to make that clear because you see the report and you have an almost two inch drop and you might wonder if there's foundation problems but no it's just the way the garage is designed that's okay. all so Emiliano has all of his findings and he's finishing up his drawing now this is not the actual drawing that you're going to see on the report you go home and you use a, uh, a software system yeah. that actually draws out the house a little bit more detail then you put your findings on it and that will be found on the first page. It's actually in the attachment of your report. Right. And this is what we were talking about. You know, the house has a two inch drop towards the master bedroom. And again, without exterior cracking or interior cracking, we shouldn't have to call a structural engineer for this. Right. Unless if you start seeing cracking in the future, then you call a structural engineer. But just because we have a two inch drop doesn't mean you need one. Right. And one thing this is really good for, if you guys are building a new house, we have a client that's building a new house, you take measurements just like this at the beginning of the construction project. And then 11 months later, before their warranty is up, you take the measurements again. And if the house has moved in any direction, then you can report that to the builder and see if it's a warranty claim. And you actually have evidence, data right there that shows right. that the house did move. Because these are calibrated. These... Uh, it's called a zip level. They're calibrated, and um, the business card of this company, this is a little advertisement they do. They actually take their the device out, and they set it just on top of a business card, and they show that it will read the difference between uh, where it was and a business card. There's a calibration. Yep. So, extremely detailed, very, very accurate tool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want more content. So how do we access it? You'll get this email when the inspection is done. This is the report. You'll see how to view the report. You'll see their foundation levels. 
inspection details, more information here. The links are pretty self-explanatory, but we want to click on View Foundation Levels, and that'll take you here. It's another page, and you can see that the Emiliano has drawn out the house, and you can see here the differences in from zero to the front door. Uh, working our way around the property, you can see that it drops in different areas, and as we said in the video, from the center uh, to different areas, it tends to drop outward, and it does exactly that. So we get a 0.2 inch drop from the center. Uh, you can also see here the garage, the way it slopes, it slopes to drain, so that's proper. And like I said, this will be included on every single inspection report, included in the normal price. And this is what you guys get, so you can view how the foundation is performing. You made it to the end of the movie. Yeah, it was kind of long, I know. It's good content. You learn how element inspection goes about making our, uh, how we draw it out, how the inspector will go about making his assessment of the foundation using both his expertise as well as this tool. And this tool is calibrated, like I said. It allows the inspector to have a little bit more insurance, assurance, however you want to say it, uh, in, in making that observation and that recommendation whether or not you need an engineer. Again, included on every single inspection report. You saw how easy it is to access in the uh, email that you guys received. So if you have questions, put them down below. If you want me to cover more content like this, just put it down below and uh, ask for it. And then peruse the channel. There's some more interesting stuff on here. Some of it is far more interesting with much shorter length videos on there. Check it out. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Yeah, Murphy is waiting on a treat. He would like a treat. We're in my house right now, so... Which one do you want? That one? No, you don't need honey. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs>